today we are leaving Mizo and we are back to Raja Ampat, like the path to Sorong, the path I know already. And it's, uh, it's super weird. This crossing was my first crossing and I remember it was quite terrific for me. <laughs> it was probably the same weather but it was the first one and I remember all the feelings of my guts and organs moving inside the waves for the first time. I was feeling sick. And yeah, even going back to Raja Ampat, it was full COVID when we left and we had more than one year of just sailing around and it's a bit weird to go back. It's when it started for me. Right, we've anchored up about 15 miles out of Sarong because the the tidal currents coming down through here, I'll show you this Google Earth um, picture, but it's a bunch of little islands and channels and the, basically it doesn't make sense to motor against the tide. So we motored up until the tide changed and then we pulled up here and, and anchored outside this tiny island. And uh, yeah, it turns out there's just bats everywhere. So here's a little bit of drone footage. And we're about to pull up the anchor. The boat's starting to turn around now. Um, tide's starting to move and we'll motor into Sarong. In this tiny island we are close to, there are crazy bats here. They are so noisy, thousands and thousands of them. I would say there are some flying fox, really red hair one, and some other, I don't know what they are, they are a bit more small but still like quite big bats, black with super short hair. And they are all yelling even when they are sleeping. It's just crazy. They're, they're just non-stop. We are here for one or two hours and they just like give me a headache to be honest. But it's so nice to watch them with the binocular and to observe what they are doing. They are really interesting animals.
Inside of the boat's still dry though, she doesn't leak. Everything's breaking on this boat, but it still doesn't leak. All right, so we finally anchored up here in Sarong. Uh, yeah, this sort of closed the circle a little bit. We left Sarong at the start of COVID, a bit more than a year and a half ago now. And uh, yeah, went on the adventure down to, well, basically Bali and then back to Roti. And uh, yeah, you've seen all the videos. If you haven't, go back and look at them. There's a bunch of them. Pretty stoked to be back here. Not Sarong itself. It's not the most beautiful place, to be honest. But um, yeah, it's all familiar. We know what's going on. And uh, looking forward to showing Marie a bit more of Raja Ampat and um, yeah, exploring some new stuff. There's still new stuff for me to see here. And as I said, the boat needs some work, it needs a refit. And I'll go down to Darwin as soon as, as soon as you don't have to quarantine down there, basically, which I've heard might already be happening now. So, yeah, might go into Darwin soon. Uh, would be awesome to go to a different country. Hey, boys. Yeah, yeah, some inquisitive locals. Beautiful light here right now. Hey, look at this. It looked like a pretty model right now. Ha, two of you commented when I got my hair cut that I looked like David Beckham. How lucky is this girl, huh? She's got David Beckham as a no captain. I'm captain so David. Nah, I normally get Sean Penn, but I never had David Beckham before. Anyway, thanks, patrons. You guys are awesome. We've been. Um, actually saving money the last few months we have you know we've been at anchor we haven't been spending anything more than just getting food and some some fuel really so we've been putting a little bit away and uh yeah thanks that we've been able to do that but uh obviously i just spoke of the refit and i can count up on yeah you got like i've got like at least 15 grand on that i could do right now on the boat so all of that money that I've saved up will be used for that well and more obviously that haven't saved that much up but yeah so anyway just so you know that your money is going towards keeping this boat uh, seaworthy and in good condition and that we can have confidence in it nothing's broken but obviously the electronics the batteries um, I've got to redo the anti-foul all this sort of thing so 
thanks to you guys for that that we're putting away some money to to get the boat back into its former glory paypal as well very very cool got a few new paypal um donations this month very really cool like little presents as i said you get an email bing bing really cool anyway what do you got to say uh, but thank you all of you guys to following our adventures thank you for watching and now it's time for us to have probably a hot meal and a beer because it was a quite long day bye bye